doing. And now those students will get that uh, tried and true foundation in STEM education that is project based. So if you see the kids, they build rockets and different things, they're always engaged in something. Or they're learning the same technology to design, do 3D modeling that, that is the industry standard. In middle school, they're learning the software. Uh, they, and they're getting dual credit. Dual credit. I mean, and the courses are UC approved. So those of you with that, that college hat on, that UC A through G curriculum hat, those, those credits ca classes count for a uh, UC entrance. And it's just, it's just a phenomenal program, phenomenal program. It's just an amazing thing that's just, re you can tell it reached a tipping point in the country right now. So uh, what I wanna do is um, I wanna bring up Sarah Mendelson. I'm gonna shift the agenda because Sarah has to um, handle something. So I want Sarah to come up and just talk about the uh, William Morris endeavor uh, and just share out what, what, has, what has happened with this partnership. And one criticism I want to throw out in the room, let's say what I've heard about from the rank and file teachers about Compton administration is that nobody's around long enough to see anything through. They always see these programs get dropped on them and then people leave and they're left holding the bag. So here they are with these empty promises that, that don't get fulfilled. So what I also need to know is that people who make commitments within the district or administrators in the district, we have to stick around to make sure that these things get done. Otherwise, they fall to the wayside. And the ones who suffer ultimately are the students. So, but there are some amazing efforts out there right now. So I'm gonna bring Sarah up to just talk about what the William Morris Endeavor is doing. Listen close, but this is very possible and great potential for us, for the district. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Oh, thank you. Um, you know, to his point, when we first got involved in Compton, we were going to really just be here for two years. We thought, let's go into an elementary school. I'll tell you about myself. But <laughs> um, let's go in. We'll go to an elementary school. We'll paint some murals. It'll be lovely. And we'll get out. Uh, and we realized after about a month and a half that that's not going to be an option. So, so five years later, we are still here, and we don't intend to leave. Um, uh, as Mr. Whetstone said, my name is Sarah Adolphson. I run the foundation at the William Morris Endeavor Talent Agency Foundation. So I do all of our corporate social responsibility, our philanthropy, our community investment, and I also support our clients on their philanthropic initiatives. Um, we are a talent agency. We represent celebrities, actors, actresses, directors, writers, authors, chefs, athletes, uh, you name it. If we can make a business out of it, we will. Um, <laughs> Uh, but what's also great about our, our company is that we are very philanthropic. Our CEOs are incredibly invested in the community. They've been out here. Uh, one CEO has worked at our summer camp that we, held, that we hold at Looters Park every Saturday in July. Uh, the other one has been out at Whaley Middle School digging ditches on the field to plant a garden. Um, it's important to us as a company. It's important to us as a culture. And uh, thankfully, it's also very important to our clients. Um, in April, Giada De Laurentiis will be planting a garden at Whaling Middle School. She already has a garden at Foster Elementary. So we're really excited when we can engage not only our employees, but the people uh, that we are working for. Um, so the reason we're in Compton, we, when we, we went through a merger five years ago, uh, the William Morris and the Endeavor agencies, and we needed to do something that was good for our corporate culture. It was a difficult time going through a merger. There was a lot of anxiety. Something had to be done that we could get everybody to wrap their arms around and get excited about and feel good about. Uh, both companies had foundations. We both gave out great grants and went out and did the beach cleanups and the graffiti cleanups and sort of the standard stuff that companies do. Uh, but when we looked back at what we'd accomplished, there was nothing we could really point to. Um, so we decided that maybe if we focus our efforts in the same way that we'll take on a client, we'll represent Ben Affleck, you want to be a director, then we're going to make you a director. We're going to focus all of our efforts and resources in making you and getting you to that dream. Well, we wanted to do that with a school. So we met with a bunch of schools in Los Angeles Unified School District. Uh, didn't have a lot of response, didn't have any response from the district, no one returned phone calls. Um, uh, that should come as no surprise, though. I mean, it's a big district. They have a lot going on. And, uh, and we had a relationship with Dr. Jacqueline Sanderlin at Foster Elementary. Um, and just called her up and said, hey, you know, we're, we're thinking about doing this thing with schools. Can we come talk to you? 
sat down with her, and I, you know, I had my little notebook. I said, if someone could come, if a company could come into your school and do something, what would you want? And she said, honey, you don't have enough note, you don't have enough paper in that notebook for all of my needs. And uh, I knew we'd found our school, and I knew we'd found our principal. But a big piece of that, though, was we had to have a relationship with the district. We had to know that they were going to sit at the table and they were going to work on this with us. That they weren't just going to, you know, let us come in, let us go out. That they that they had skin in the game. And uh, got the phone call returned immediately. Uh, had a great meeting with the then superintendent. And uh, and it's been a partnership ever since. And uh, we have a number of programs. We fund nonprofits to bring their programs into the schools. So we sit down with our principals at Foster and Whaling, and hopefully soon Dominguez as well, uh, and ask them what they need. What's missing at the school? What do they want? Now it looks like we are on a track to become an arts academy at these three schools uh, because that was what they all wanted, was more arts. So we fund a lot of arts programs, but that's not it. I mean, we have to focus on the whole child. So we're going to get them arts. They have Shakespeare. They have photography. They have music. Uh, we want to bring in even more. I think we're doing like anime cartooning at Whaley uh, pretty soon. Uh, but these kids also need healthy food. They need counseling. They have there's a there's a great deal of needs, and there's a lot of needs for the teachers. The teachers don't have supplies. Um, you know, they're 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 feeling underappreciated. So we bring them into our screening room. We let them watch a movie. We give them champagne and cupcakes. <laughs> we do we do things that talent agencies do best, right? We wine and dine. Um, uh, but it's great. We partnered with Donors Choose in December, and we had all of our agents and our clients raise money so that the teachers in Compton. Uh, and the teachers we have partner schools in Brooklyn and in Nashville as well. So all of them could post their projects on Donors Choose. We would raise money and we funded all of those projects and we have a little left over. Um, we have a summer camp. When we sat down with Dr. Sandler in the beginning, we said, you know, so what are the kids going to do this summer? She said, there's no, the budget has been cut. There's no summer school. There's nothing that they can do. So, uh, you know, we don't know exactly what we're doing, but we know summer camp. Everyone went to summer camp. You know, there's macaroni art, there's water balloons. We're going to go out and have a good time. So we did that. Our assistants, a bunch of eager 23 year olds, uh, put together the whole curriculum for this camp. And we're out there every Saturday in July with about 120 kids. We have about 100 of our employees. They bring their families. People in the community come out. And, uh, and we're there every Saturday from 10 to 2, and it's a great time. So I, please, I invite you to come. Um, grab a t-shirt, get dirty. Uh, we have a mentorship program. I know we're talking a lot about career development. We have about 17 kids from Foster and Whaley that come to our offices every other Wednesday for the entire school year. Um, they're partnered with two to three employees in the agency. Uh, because we want there to be consistency and we want someone to always be there for their kids. If you have to run out of town, if you've got a meeting, you always have somebody who can be there for that kid. Um, and it's been, it's been probably more rewarding for us than...